Our next big story, after Friday's successful House vote to halt Syrian refugees from coming to America, members of Rhode Island's delegation tell us that bill likely won't ever see daylight in the Senate. Instead, another bill is in the works. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado has more on how lawmakers say their new plan will better safeguard Americans. Rhode Island Senator Sheldon Whitehouse says the House bill doesn't target the way many terrorists tried to enter America as tourists. Senator Whitehouse says he doesn't expect the Senate to take up the controversial bill that passed the House last week, putting a pause on the Syrian refugee program. If you are uh, somebody who wants to do America harm and you want to come into our country, the last gate you want to come in through is the refugee resettlement gate. It has the longest delay and the most uh, rigorous vetting. You want to come through the visa waiver gate, for instance, or the student visa overstay gate. He says the Senate is working on its own bill that would improve the visa waiver program, which allows citizens of certain countries to travel to the U.S. without a visa. And that's really the place that we have to look at in terms of making sure there are protections in place to ensure that people are coming to the country have been screened in some ways. Congressman David Cicilline voted against the refugee bill in the House last week. He says a bill targeting the visa waiver is one he could get behind. He wants to reduce some of the fear of refugees that have popped up since the Paris attacks. And to remind people that it's important that we keep Americans safe and that we can do that in a way that also honors our values as a country. That visa waiver program allows citizens of 38 countries to enter the U.S. without a visa. That includes France and Belgium, where several of the Paris attackers were citizens. I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.